Hey guys, how's it going? Electron Man. Hope you're doing good today. Well, got a little different video for you today. Um, it's come springtime. It's come mower time. And uh, I was actually out there uh, underneath my mower trying to get her going again. I uh, had a little issue with uh, with another belt. And I got to looking at him and I'm thinking, man, I got a whole other season coming. I don't know, you know, they're both seven years old. I did video reviews on both of them, so they're uh, they're they're getting up there in age. So I thought I'll go do me a little window shopping, and, and kind of you know see what's out there today, and uh, maybe uh, start planning on what I'm gonna have to do moving forward because I, I I can't be down a mower in the middle of the summer, and uh, these are getting kind of tired. I mean they got hundreds of hours on them. So anyway, I messed up. Should have never went in window shopping. I don't know better than that because guess what I did. I bought a brand new Cub Cadet LT50 XT1. Yeah. I had such good luck with the Craftsman Pro, which technically was nothing but a Cub Cadet, that I uh, just decided to go ahead and and pull the uh, trigger and get a uh, get a new mower. We'll go ahead and do a good walk around on it. Um, she's a sweet one. I've learned a lot you know, in mowers over the years, and. I'll show you, I'll point out some different have-tos I feel like on these mowers. One thing is if you look down here, that's a fabricated deck. To me, that's a must-have. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Especially uh, when you live out in the country like I do with the uh, the rough terrain. Um, those, uh, those stamped decks just never hold up. So that was one of my half twos on it, which obviously this is the LT50 XT1 Fab, which means it has a fabricated deck. Another um, highlights of it, it uh, has a Crowler 24, and actually I've got one over there. It's got a Crowler 20, my old one. I think it's that or 22, and uh, the engine has been flawless. Um, I, I put a lot of, I know Crowler got a bad name. They had some series, a Curd series or whatever that, that were not good, but uh but I had that other one for seven years, and it's given me no problem. They're easy to maintain. They're easy to service, and, and quite honestly, they're uh, they're a little bit cheaper than getting a Kawasaki. I like Kawasaki's, but I have had more problems with my Kawasaki engine than I have the Crowler. But anyway, yeah, she's got a 24 horsepower Crowler. Um, she's a uh, she's all full hydrostatic drive. I feel like she's got a little bit bigger tires. She's actually a little bit bigger mower than my uh, my the other one was my uh, my Craftsman. Pro series. Uh, look at some other things. It's got a really like this too. It's got the uh, the electric PTO. To me, it's something you really, really want to go for. Um, easier to change belt on. You don't have a cable that gets rusted. You don't have all the extra mechanisms that it requires to run a cable top lever type uh, PTO. I think this is a must upgrade. This has the manual choke, which to me is definitely the way to go. I do not care for automatic chokes. They seem to be sticky and have problems. I'm old school. I like the old regular choke, and it has just a normal throttle. Cup Cadet is built to work. And, uh, I mean, it's got all the all the features that I want. It's got it's got a nice, I think, ten position deck level. It's got the high back seat. It's got the AGM battery. It's also got the extra front anti-scapping wheel on it. On these larger decks, that's a big keeps you uh, keeps the deck more level on the ground definitely to me I have to um, LED lighting probably the only thing I'm disappointed in and I don't know why Cub did it is it doesn't have an hour meter on it and uh, I always kind of use that for my uh, basis of when to do an oil change etc I'll just have to write it down and remember it but uh, it's just a handy item to have I don't know you know that's not the place to scrimp to me personally but uh I mean, it's definitely not a showstopper. I think this is a hardy mower. And um, she's never been on the grass. I'm getting ready to go mow a couple acres here now. I'll probably come back and kind of give you my feelings on it. But she's a 50 inch deck. So it ought, to, it ought to go through my couple acres pretty quick. I think a couple hours. And uh, I still have the zero turn, but man, a zero turn and, and rough terrain and hills is just not the mower. If you're mowing a good flat area and you're not worried about kind of scalping on the corners, Zero turns are great, but I'm really kind of more partial to the to the to the garden tractor, and that and, and I like that it has the uh, the uh, tow bar on the back of it. Um, in fact, I'm going to order something for that. I've seen now where you put a ball in it has the the attachment clip a pin, 
but uh, you just can't do that with a zero turn. They might have it, but it's hard to pull a wagon or anything with a zero turn. It takes all your hands just to steer. But uh, anyway, guys, I don't want to go on too long about it. I'm really excited. She's a beauty. I mean, what can you say? But that is one fine looking mower there. Like her stance. I'm a big guy and I sat in it real comfortable. Of course, it's got a cup holder and places to put your cell phone. Want. I mean, it, uh, back when I first started buying mowers, I didn't learn, you know, about the stamp decks. By the way, it's a three blade, and if you get in the bigger decks with bigger um, yards and you're wanting a bigger deck, make sure it's a three blade. Uh, it just puts, you know, when you're swinging big old blades, you know, I've, I've seen some 48s with two blades. It just puts so much extra stress on the deck. It's not worth it. Buy an extra blade. But that, and also I find that the three blades seem to cut a little more even than the two blades. They're real easy about getting one of them off to where it kind of scalps it on one side. So I definitely, like I said, it's kind of got everything I want in it. It's got the, got the high horsepower 24, which is good for a 50 inch deck. Don't, un, don't scrooge on horsepower either, guys. Always get the right horsepower. I'm kind of just giving you all the tips I've learned over the deal. By the way, isn't that seat sexy? Man, that looks like a something in a Ferrari. I love the uh, the two-tone they did on that, but sorry, shiny coin syndrome. But uh, I, I tell you, it's a it's a sweet looking mower. I can't think of anything that uh, that they've missed on this one. Basis for me on this one, to be honest. It's, of course, it's got the hose wash out, which it came with that. Sorry, the wind's kind of bad out here today. I am going to get a front bumper for it. In fact, I'll probably do a little series on this one of upgrades I do, but uh, I suggest, um, um, I didn't know my last one, I ended up banging that whole thing front up there with the muffler cover. Better off to get you, in fact, I wished I had it now before I ever started mowing, but I'll just be real careful today, but get you a front bumper, and I got a neat little hitch attachment I'm going to put on it too, but anyway, yeah, I went and dropped a few dollars and just decided, you know what? I don't want to spend all of my time trying to fix ones in the middle of the summer, so I still got the other two. I'll probably sell the older one, the, the Sears, the Craftsman one, and uh, just keep the zero turn in this one. But yeah, me and window shopping didn't go too good. It was just, they had it on sale. I bought it at Tractor uh, Supply, and uh, the price was right. It had all the features I wanted, and it's kind of like going and looking for a car. Once I sat on it, I fell in love with it, and uh, here she is sitting in my driveway. Okay guys, it's time to put her to work now. Let's go ahead and fire her up. You wanna hear a first start on her, which by the way, you pull the choke out a little bit here. Take her like this. Sounding good. Sounding good. By the way, these mowers have a super tight turn rate. They say it's 16 inches. I don't know if it's 16, but it's really, really tight. It's amazing how uh, tight of a turn rate is. In fact, I'll do a couple circles out there when I get to the mowing and show you how tight of the turn rate is. But there she is, idling and running. Well, it's time to go to work now. We got a mess of the yard to go mow. Let me go do some work. I'll be back.
hopefully guys it's not too windy out here hopefully this mic sounds okay i'm using my gopro 5 too which i just thought i'd try it because it does a time less but anyway you know what i have to say look at this lawn and uh, i did a time lapse and you can you can this was a torture this is a brand new mower. i put her through the test and uh she passed with flying colors you know what i think cub cadet got this one right it's not over complicated but it has all the features you need it's got the fab deck it's got the electric pto uh, it's hydrostatic you know one pedal you know push it forward it goes forward the harder you push forward or the more you push forward the faster it goes got a little button right here push it back that's what backs it up by the way if i hadn't covered it i i know these mowers real well so i just kind of assumed it but whenever you're mowing if you want to uh after you start it if you want to be able to do reverse mowing just be careful with that because that's a safety thing that's why they have this on here if you put it to the middle button right here where it says rf and hit this button right here when you got the blazing gauge that little red light will come on then you can back up mowing as well as forward mowing but most of the time I say go forward unless you're in a situation where you need to do a back back and forth. But uh, anyway, just another nice feature. I love the choke. I also like now that, you know, a lot of times like on my old one, the choke was like on the throttle. I love that it's just the throttle and your choke separate. Like I said, it's got a big gas tank. Um, we just put her to test and she passed with flying colors. Um, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed all this. Um, I'm gonna go finish up a little bit of mowing. I did all this, which is about an acre and a half in about an hour which is amazing she's fast she, of course i had to take her a little slower because boy i was going through some bad stuff but look how much better it looks out here now yeah that's my little firework display i do the fourth of july i need to move the bricks and mow that or we need it but uh that's beside the point and i got that burn power from the windstorm still to burn but i haven't really had it. it was too cold and now it's been too windy but it's green enough now we get a nice calm day we're gonna have to take care of that but Anyway, I'm chattering on too much. I'll probably uh, cover some few, a few other things. I did the right thing. They, they kept the price down by not putting a bit of fluff on it. I'm just making a good, solid, strong mower here. Uh, I'm totally satisfied so far. We'll see how the long term is, but the way it looks from construction and everything and the way she just mowed through that, uh, that nastiness, I'm very, very impressed. And I got like a golf course finish here. I mean, guys, this, this looks nice. I probably should have uh, took a look at this underneath before I mowed. I've already got it all dirty, but anyway, I wanted to inspect it, make sure everything was looking good after I mowed the whole yard, and I kind of give you an idea of the underneath of the deck. This is some serious steel. I love the front scalp roller here. Um, there's your electric clutch. Uh, it looks like I didn't do any damage to the blades, which is good. I was pretty hard on them. I like the way it's uh, set up as far as the baffling in it. Definitely uh, create better discharge. It's nice looking. It does look like those are just standard uh, mulching blades to me. They might now they're probably high lift with the uh, with the big swoop there, but uh, they're doing a nice job. I probably would go with the mulching, but. Uh, I mean, as long as I can keep on these, I will, but I'll probably be researching about some mulching because I don't, I don't ever bag, so I don't really need high lift. I need mulchers, more the double cut stuff. But anyway, I thought I'd kind of give you a view of it. Cast iron front axle. I mean, it's pretty similar to, uh, to my other one other than the fab deck and, uh, and the electric clutch. Of course, there's your transmission, nice hydrostatic transmission back there. Anyway, we're just kind of inspecting it after the deal. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And as always, have a great day. Let's go do some mowing.